Hi guys, welcome back to my latest video. So my husband, Jesse, is doing this video with me today and throwback, he hasn't been on a video, a nursing video a in long like time. years. Um, a long time. I should like do a screenshot of I know. one of the videos you're on. That was up in Washington, like mm -hmm. that was when you were working two years, two and a half years ago, in maybe. Med surge, yeah. I don't know. Pretty crazy. But we thought we would do a funny video. I actually had one of you guys recommend that, that we do this where I read you like nursing phrases, like common things nurses say. Vocab terms. Yeah, vo kind of like vocabulary, like lingo of nurses, and you have to tell me like what you think they mean. Yeah. Or like react to them. So, nursing trivia. So I asked you guys to send me things that to say, and it was funny because a lot of people interpreted it as like, um, everything was poop involved. They're like, <laughs> spread the cheeks, like. There's one of them yeah. that I know of that I have a feeling you're gonna ask. The well, C. diff one. No, because you already know what that is. Yeah. So I pick things that I know that he probably doesn't know what they are, because there's certain terms that he knows just from talking. Just from listening to you. Yeah, listening to me and I'll explain things. But I have a list of probably like a couple, like 10 plus things, so I'm gonna read them to you and see what you uh, think. The meanings are on there, yeah. right? No. Okay. So okay. I'm gonna like, kind of hide it so you can't see it. Okay. Right, here we go. So, so I just have to say what I think it is. Yeah, like. All right. What do you think? My best educated guess. Alright, okay. here we go. Alright. Can you grab me a nipple adapter? A nipple adapter. <laughs> so adapting to a nipple. Is it like a clamp? Like a nipple clamp? No. I don't know if I should tell you what it is or if we should just go through them all. We'll go through them all and then at the end we can go I'll put back. a picture. Of, if it's an yeah. item, I'll just put a picture of what it is. Yeah, I would say a nipple clamp. Something that like controls a nipple maybe while you're trying to hook something up to a nipple. <laughs> I don't know. What field are you going to use that in? I don't know. Mm -hmm. Gynecology and... <laughs> Alright. OB. You're not, you're not anywhere close, but... <laughs> Alright. Well, that's what a nipple adapter sounds like. Okay. Patient is acidotic. Acidotic? <laughs> it sounds like a mental disorder. Acidotic. <laughs> like... Uncon he, he can't control his bowels. <laughs> okay. Is that close? No. It has to do with the pH level of your blood. So if you're more acidic. Patient's Poop, acidotic. blood, pee, same thing. <laughs> Alright, grab me a yonker. A yonker? <laughs> a yonker? I'm actually going to give an educated guess. A yonker? Grab me a yonker. Hey, got any more of those yonkers? I would say <laughs> yonkers like some sort of tool, uh, like an actual metal type tool, I don't know, something that helps put in, I'm gonna guess like putting in a foley or like something that helps put in, um, what is it called, not a foley, but like the vagina one, what is it? The vagina one. What, like what, not the foley for like a wiener, I'm saying like. <laughs> yeah, a foley can go in a guy or a girl. Oh, I thought it was just guy, you get what I'm saying. <laughs> a yonker's like a, it looks like a little suction device that you can use to like, like at the dentist, oh. when they do the suction out. I don't know if they Is call it- Is it for it like Foley's though? No, it's oh, for like, it like suction like was... and like secretions. You made it look spin. like I was going to be right though. You're like, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> he's on to something. Yeah, Alright, you'll probably get this one. Alright. Okay, can you irrigate the rectal tube? Air can you clean it out? Like, irrigation. So like, I'm thinking like flush it with water. Yeah. Okay. The rectal tube. Flush a poop tube. Yeah. <laughs> I don't even want to know how you do that. Um, the patient's A and O times one. The patient's what? A and O times one. A and O times A one. A and O times one. Oh, oh, A and O. He's A and O times one. Honestly, I don't even know what to guess for that. A and Sounds o like an equation. stands for alert and oriented. So like if you're A and O times, times one, one, meaning like maybe you're only oriented to your name. Or A&O, we go up to like four. Oh, okay. So it's just your level of consciousness almost. Not really. Cause like your means of situational awareness. Sort of. So like A&O times four would be person, place, time, situation. Okay. I don't know these things. All right. This is frustrating. Okay. She sundowns majorly at night. She sundowns. Oh, I've heard of sundown. That's like a syndrome. I know that like if you have sundowns. And I remember you telling me... Say that again? Hold on. She sundowns majorly at night. So that's the sleepwalker. Just like when they get up and they like, they're sundown people. I, I know what you're talking about. They get up in the middle of the night or like, they're like a different person almost in the middle of the night. Like they've got sundowns. 
Yeah, I kind of know what you're talking about. It's a sleeping disorder. You're close. Like, sometimes, like, elderly people, they'll be ano times four during the day, but then at night, they sundown, and they might get really irritated. They yeah. might be, start crying, they might be confused. But it's all, that, like, during their sleep. It's almost it's, like a version of sleepwalking. Well, they're not talking. necessarily sleeping, but they're more confused at night. Like, their That's mental weird. orientation yeah. changes. It's yeah. common elderly. Sundowns. I remember you telling me about that one. Okay. You have to tell me what this is referring referring to. Okay. When you put it in the wrong hole, just leave it there and try again with a new one. When you put it in the wrong hole... Just it... leave it there and try again with a new one. Oh, that's got to be for Foley's. That's, instead of putting it in like the, the, pee, the pee hole, you put it in the actual vagina hole. Yeah, <laughs> that's exactly yeah. what it is. <laughs> Good job. I think mean, you got one. Now you got two. You got the irrigate rectal tube. Okay. And two and a half, because I kind of got sun down. Okay. He's tacky. Tacky? Mm-hmm. He's lame. <laughs> <laughs> He's, you look tacky with that Foley. <laughs> Foley's his favorite nursing word, just so yeah, you know. I did not know this. <laughs> it's um, short for tachycardic. Oh, so like if it, I don't even know what that is. <laughs> How much so is your heart, slang for something yeah, I don't even know? Like, your heart rate's high. Okay. Tachycardic, tacky. Or he's oh. Brady. Oh, yeah. Brady, yeah. bradycardic. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. Can you go zero my A-line? Uh, can you go zero my A-line? An A-line. An ass-line. What is it? <laughs> Let's see here. So zeroing your A-line. What would an A- So A- I have a feeling it has to do with like a heart monitor though. Like zeroing an A-line. So like, hey, this did this. Can you like zero- can you like reset it? Zeroing is like a term for like resetting something on like a heart monitor. Pretty close. So an A line is like an arterial line, so it just like, goes in your yeah. artery. But you, yeah, that's right. You zero it. Sometimes, if you it, just like if you like if you have a scale and it's like reading half a pound, yeah. obviously you're gonna hit zero because it's not if nothing's on it. Exactly. You know? um, okay. Can I get a boost? When you have someone in one of those big rolly beds and you need a second person to push. <laughs> kind of. <laughs> what rolly beds? Like the beds you like. Watch out! Is that like pushing it and rolling, pushing them through doors? It's like oh, like a stretcher. But like if you've got like just you on like a four hundred pound, five hundred pound person's bed, it's like I need a boost. <laughs> so you're saying it means for the nurse or the patient? Like you're boost, you're helping the patient like move. Kind of. Like usually you, the nurse like... is helping the patient. You need to help moving the patient. So usually patients, if they're in bed, they'll start sliding down. <laughs> So it's like a booster seat. So you'll get another person, you'll just boost them up. Shovel them up. Yeah, like shovel cool. them up. Um, can, you, can you witness me waste this? Witness me waste this? That's for pills. Good for job. medicine. That's like, hey, this is oxycodone. Um, he didn't, they didn't use this, so I need you to, to um, confirm that I'm not hoarding, hoarding, hoarding the meds or bringing them home. Good job. Okay, we have two more. Okay. Can you increase the peep? Increase, increase the peep. <laughs> increase the peep. Boop boop. <laughs> Sounds like a dance, like a, yo everybody, we're going to increase the peep. Increase the peep. I don't know, I have no idea what that means. Increase the peep. Increase, so if like someone's got a mad plumber crack, they're peeping out of their underwear. <laughs> again. So you're like, yo, increase that peep. Let me see that, that ass dope. No, <laughs> okay. it's not. But that's, right. <laughs> it has to do with the ventilator settings. Like, you bring them to your ventilator. Oh, no. But I'm not going to no get idea. into detail because it'll take me forever to try and explain it. All right, last one. Let me put a hat in the toilet first. Let me put a hat? It's not like <laughs> slang for, yo, let me drop a deuce really quick. <laughs> no. I'm code, code 11. I need a poop. Code 11. Um, what, what is it again? Help me put a hat in the toilet first? Let me put a hat in the toilet first. Oh, hold on. So, like, I'm thinking of you, like, put a top hat upside down. Like, you're going to collect someone's stool. Good job. Yeah. It literally, it's just, like, plastic, but it's, yeah. like, a little basin. It's a container, yeah. And you can measure. I'm, like, thinking, what would a hat, and then I'm thinking, oh, a hat upside down in a toilet when you're dropping dookies. Good job, like, cutie. So mm -hmm. I got, like, four or five, right? Yeah, five, you did good. I think, ish. I don't know. I don't know. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. If you want us to do more of these, 
we can come up with more terms and quiz them again. It's fun. Maybe I can hop in your nursing and try to quit find stuff and quiz you. Quiz, quiz your knowledge of Reverse. nursing vocab. So. See if you're really worth the title of RN. <laughs> See if I actually know what I'm doing. Yeah. Anyways, if you guys liked it, let us know. And um, yeah. Bye.